Hi kitty cats, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be talking about my diabetes. I said in my video about my fibrosis display that I've got diabetes, so I thought I'd talk about how I was diagnosed, how I deal with it, and um, how it affects me every day everyday life so here we go so from what I remember um, I was 12 in the March and I was diagnosed with diabetes in the June I think it was um, and yeah I had been in secondary school for very long and um, one evening my parents come to me and said, look, hey, we're a bit worried. Um, we think you could be diabetic because they noticed that I was drinking a lot of water. I was going to the toilet a lot and I was losing a bit of weight or I was putting on weight. I can't exactly remember what it was. Um, but there are a few of the symptoms that you get if, um, if you're if you if you may be diabetic um and my dad's also diabetic as well so he had the blood machine meter thing so he tested my blood and i think my sugar was 30.1 or 30 it was 30 something i can't quite remember what it was um and so i think the same night they took me to a and &E because you know with diabetes it's quite a serious thing so yeah so I think I was probably pretty much there most of the night and then what happened they done all sorts of tests um, blood tests urine tests loads of stuff I can't exactly remember the exact tests they did but the same evening they come to me so yeah you're diabetic and I literally just I remember bursting into tears I was absolutely terrified I didn't know what to think um, and from a young age as well it's you don't know what to do um, but I had my family to support me um, with my dad being diabetic as well he was able to explain a lot of things to me of what to do and telling me it'll be fine you'll be okay I'll support you anywhere I can so with my mum as well and then what happened I think they kept me in overnight because I think they probably had to figure out what uh, medication to put me on uh, make sure that I was on the right medication and um, then I had to learn to do injections myself and I remember them saying you cannot go home unless you know you can inject yourself and I remember my dad letting me do his so I knew how to do them um, what to do like yeah I got press this little button thing for the insulin to go in um, if you don't know what insulin is, it's basically what your pancreas makes in your body. Um, I'm type 2, so I've still got insulin producing in my body, but they don't know how much. But I have to take tablets and injections, um, tablets twice a day and injections twice a day as well. But with type 2 diabetes, um, your... <coughs> It is more weight controlled, but as me being, you know, me, I take injections and tablets. So, yeah. Um, and with type 1, which is what my dad is, he has to do four injections a day. Can you imagine doing four injections a day? I'm sure there's probably loads of, loads of you out there that do four injections a day, and that is amazing. Like, I couldn't, I can moan about doing two injections a day, but I know. I've got to do it so you know and right now I've been diabetic I think 15 years now and I feel like I'm finally on the right medication and um, and it's a lot more better controlled it was difficult as a child because obviously you want to be like everyone else you know there were certain things I couldn't do I remember I went to go on school trips um, but when you go like places like France and Cornwall, which I was able to go, um, I think it was just the worry of, you know, having to do my injections and my parents worrying 
and everything else but as I've got older you know I can go away I'll just take my stuff with me and it's a lot more easier now than it used to be and I understand the diabetes a little bit more um so yeah let's go back to when I was first diagnosed I basically had to stay in hospital for I think just over a week um and um I met some really nice people um as well the doctors were really nice the nurses were really nice they supported me any way they can so yeah that's pretty much how I was diagnosed I am it was a struggle for a really long time because you've got to adapt to it and I was I kept get I, I kept being given different types of medication because they didn't know what was working what was working or didn't know what was working what was working was what I was meant to say um so but now I feel that I'm on the right medication and I'm doing a lot more blood tests and my sugars have been really good um, and I'm being seen by some really really good doctors now and I'm being seen off it three maybe every three to four months and things are going really good and you know it's and I've got amazing support from my parents as well and um, with diabetes it when I was younger I did suffer from this rare illness called pancreatitis um, which I think I got from a virus and they did say that it could be a chance that you will be diabetic when you get older and plus it runs in the family as well so like my dad's got it um, so I've got it um, so yeah that's pretty much it about the diabetes um, and I will say again, I'm actually really thankful that I am diabetic. As much as I hate being diabetic, I wouldn't have found out about my fibrosis dysplasia if it was for the diabetes. Um, cause I, like I said in the other video, I went through, I went to a diabetes eye screening clinic, and that's where they found out that there was something wrong with my eye, and then they transferred me and. So yeah, I am really grateful for the diabetes, and I've said this quite a few times that I am really grateful for it. And if you are showing any symptoms at all, like going to the toilet, drinking a lot, losing weight, feeling moody all the time, then you should really go and get checked out because you never know, you might have diabetes and, you know, it's, it's so common these days, there's so many different um medication these days you might not need to take insulin you might not even need to take tablets some of it can be weight control or you know you might only have to do injections once a day or twice a day or it kind of depends what type you are um but if there's any young children out there who is dealing with diabetes or you've newly been diagnosed then please come to me and ask me any advice or if you need to talk or anything I'm you know I'm happy to help you any way I can because with me I was diagnosed at the age of 12 so I'm happy to answer your questions or anything so get in contact with me you can get me in contact through here you can also contact me on Twitter um, also through Instagram as well as I've got a um, kitty cat K Instagram but yeah, um, I'm happy to talk to you about absolutely anything. But again, like I said, if you feel that you've got the symptoms of diabetes, then please go to your GP or even the hospital like I did. I'm sure they'll have a look to see if you have got it. Hopefully you don't. Um, so I have also have one more thing to show you, um, which I got from when I was in hospital um, I believe it was my mum and dad that got it I think they did yeah I think my mum says she got it from Diabetes UK but I don't think she remembers but yeah I want to show you this bear this is Ruby um, I got her a little while after being diagnosed um, and I've had her ever since and she's really special because 
Um, she's got these patches all over her body. She's got red, green, orange, blue, and it shows you the places of where you can do injections. So you can do it on your legs here. We've got the um, like your thighs, your belly here, which is why I usually do mine, and my legs as well. I also do mine. And she's also got these patches here where you can also do them in your arms. And there's these little hearts as well. That's showing where you can do blood tests. Um, so yeah, and also on your bottom, but I'm not going to show you that. So yeah, and she's also got this bracelet here. If you can see that, that is the um, diabetes logo. And I've had her ever since, and she did help out a lot when I was little, because I think I remember pretending to inject her with insulin. Obviously I was putting the insulin inside her body. Well, it's, you know, inside here, but, and she's, it's helped a lot because, you know, and it's a special bear, so, you know, you get these special bears. And I think there was a boy as well, and I think he's either called Robert or Rupert. But I don't know. I actually can't remember. And if there's anyone out there that has any of these bears, please share with me, because I'd like to see yours as well and see how... Mine looks, still looks quite old, but she still looks quite new. But yeah, if you have any of these bears, please share with me. So yeah, that is Ruby. I really hope that I've helped a lot of people out there who's who doesn't like talking about their diabetes. And it's I've not, I've watched this video for a really long time, but I've not been comfortable doing it. But now I feel a lot more comfortable with myself to talk about it and share it with others. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up hit the notification button and please share this video I would really appreciate it um, it's taken a lot for me to talk about this um, but yeah I really enjoy talking to but I really enjoy talking to you about my health and like I've done the fibrodysplasia one and the diabetes and I feel a lot more confident talking about it and I hope it's helped others out there um, to open up about their diabetes. You can always come to me being diabetic myself. I'll be happy to talk to you. But yeah, um, please share this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.